I'm trying to get back into the like groove of filming but I literally haven't filmed anything in so long it's been a while since I've been back here so I never had ipsy I never had boxy charm I never had any of those things but I seen the allure box and it was like a little bit better quality items it's called the allure beauty block beauty box cute Okay, this is what really sold me on this. Oh my god, my hair. Please stop. Oh my god, my hair is so... Girl. Like, your hair looks crazy. That was a real cry. I unzipped it a little bit so she can have some air. But I'm gonna get her out of this and I'm gonna feed her and then she's gonna be good. But she looks so cute. Say hi to the camera. Say hi to the camera, mama. She is two months. She's going to be three months in like two weeks. So, yeah. I'll her right here while I finish this. Um, so, it has a little bit of glitter. That's what they did say. And then it's literally like a sheer um, lip um gloss type of thing it's not a lipstick it's a gloss it's like a sheer thing it looks natural it looks just like my color so i love this super cute i honestly i saved this is the this is the most amazing one though because this is 75 milliliters and that um costs 78 dollars so this is like bitch what Okay, anyway, this is the only one that I, I'm not a fan of because I'm never going to exfoliate my skin on the go. Like, that sounds so dumb. Um, it is, like, oily, though, so I guess I can use it for other things. Like, I can give myself a little sheen if I'm, like, taking pictures or something, but it's stupid. It's, like, literally so dumb. But anyway, other than that, these are the products that I got. And I love them. I got the quarterly box subscription so it comes every three months you know once a month but you get charged every three months and i think i paid like 70 dollars or something like that so 70 dollars for three boxes of like full size items that are some of them are like prestige items which is really cool so yeah and that's what i did now i gotta clean up this messy ass kitchen y'all like what Hello? I'm starting to clean, so. I'm just doing my job until uh, it's Big Daddy here, checking in from work. <laughs> no. He's coming home soon. Sure, honestly. Really? You're looking like a hot mama, girl. I'm leaking, I gotta. And I should have vlogged that. I'm gonna edit that part. Oh, I forgot you. Person's <laughs> toes. I wouldn't send my kid to, to aftercare, more or less to school there. First of all, I don't even want a grown person putting their feet on me, let alone putting their feet in my mouth. Okay? Well, I remember once upon a time when we had some kind of morals in our country, like our school. I remember I couldn't even wear eyeliner in like fifth grade. It was like a big deal. Like I would get in trouble for that, right? Come get your niece, y'all. She literally is doing the most this morning. I don't even, y'all, I don't even know. Look at her hair. I don't even know what to say. Why isn't I focusing? Girl. She was screaming my head off for her milk. So I had to this is how much she's drinking oh the whole thing she's drinking four ounces and it seems like she's drinking four ounces every hour i don't even know how she did that crazy but i'm on the go today we're on the go today should i say 
Ooh. Also, the house is a fucking mess. Gizzy. Hi, Papa. I know, it's been rough. You've been hearing your sister cry. Is that better? I don't know, but I still don't know how to like work this camera. I'm not like using it that much, but the house is a mess. It's just been, okay. We need, I just need to get ready though. So this is going to be 24 hours with a newborn starting at 9:18. So she and I woke up like around 7 and I nursed her a little bit and then that wasn't enough, of course. So she um ended up getting a bottle and then I pumped. Then that was the second bottle. And yeah. Today we have a lot to do. I have to go pick up my package from Forever 21. Then I have to go fix the back suspension in my car because the shocks are blowed out. Blew out? Blown out? They're blown out back there. And um, yeah, get the baby ready. And then I will start filming again. Oh, the whole house is a mess too, so I guess that'll be a part of the video as well, like me cleaning up the house because the house is like an atrocity. It's crazy because it's a pretty small apartment, but I guess that's why it gets dirty, honestly. So yeah, it's a small apartment and it gets fucking dirty so fast. And we have a dog and we have a baby and we have two grown adults. So it's just insane, but anyway. I'm going to do that. I look crusty. I haven't brushed my teeth. I haven't taken care of myself because I've been taking care of my baby. So I have to take care of me. And I'll be right back. So I'm going to fix my diaper bag. This is the diaper bag that I'm using right now. The denim. And then my beautiful friend Sloan, aka Storm Collections, made me a little bag charm. I got my hair done a few days ago. I hate it. Like, why is it different colors? Like, why is it like black and then like, I don't know. Anyway, um, so this is a pretty little lock charm and this one says mom and I love like the little, oh, the rose quartz. Like she literally slayed and obviously this is for the diaper bag, but I had it in the, in the back so I don't know why I did that, but anyway. Yes. Beautiful. Bag charm. Beautiful Telfar. And this is what I've been using for my diaper bag, y'all. I don't know what the hell I was thinking, but for the first, like, month or two of, like, my hair is just, I can't. For the first month or two of her life, I was using the large Telfar for her diaper bag, and I had, like, this insert. It was fucking ginormous. I don't know if you can tell, but okay, this is literally for the large. It was absurd. Like it was just so big. It was like it didn't even make sense. Like where where are you going? It's a diaper bag, babe. Diapers need to go in there. Like not a fucking microwave. So um, I'm just taking everything out of here and I'm gonna put everything back in. That's kind of how I work with everything. Like if I'm organizing the closet or whatever. I just like to take everything out and then put everything back in. Also, this denim top bar came with this like um, cardboard thing for down here. I just kept it in there. It's weird that the other ones like didn't come with that. Am I tripping? No, they didn't come with that. This is the only one that came with it. I don't know why, but I just kept it down there just so also it could protect the bottom. Because I tend to get these like really dirty. I have like five different colors and they get dirty all the time so this is the insert i got from amazon i highly recommend getting this like as you can see i did, i got it for the large one but i highly recommend it you need it like you if you're gonna get a tough bar you need it it's gonna your shit is gonna be everywhere like your shit is literally going to be rolling around in there it's not gonna make any sense like you you need this say hi to my um vlog go eagles <laughs> I'm gonna do 24 hours with a newborn today. With a crazy newborn that only wants milk. 
<laughs> Holy crap, all milk. <laughs> Literally. <sighs> I gotta fix the diaper bag. The diaper bag is packed. I do have everything in here. I'm trying to think if I'm missing something. I got some extra pair of socks, an extra passy. I have an extra onesie. <sighs> Pampers, diapers, obviously. Diaper changing pad. I guess that's it, really. That's that's pretty much the fundamentals of a diaper bag. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna hurry up and get ready myself, then get her ready, so that we can go because um I I got a lot to do. And as you heard, I don't know if I'm gonna put it in there, but I'm working by myself today. All right, don't pull my hair. Here, y'all. You you could keep her, honestly. You could keep her. Take her. Seriously. Take her. Because <laughs> I don't know what to do with her. She's driving me crazy. <laughs> Alright. Something is seriously up with Avery here because she is having the hardest morning right now i don't know what it is but she's i i think she's going through a growth spurt oh my god your socks already don't fit you that's crazy um i think she's going through another like growth spurt or something i don't know if babies go through a growth spurt at this point she is 12 weeks let me see for those that don't know okay this is the chart too you guys can focus basically increased hunger frequent night wakings increased fussiness so basically they get uncomfortable they they get fussy and they need to feed a lot more to recuperate the amount of growth that they're having Okay, I'm in the car. I have this thing. Look at her. So I love it because it literally helps me see her all the time. And sometimes, like when her pasty falls out her mouth, I just pop it back in her mouth from the front seat when I'm driving. And I, I can do it because I can see her, like where her mouth is and stuff. So it's really easy. But yeah, that's how it looks. But yeah, the camera's like right there. So yeah, what was I saying? Let me get out the parking truck. Is that a crow? Yeah. I heard those are like weird omens. I don't think that's a crow. That was like a pigeon or some shit. Um, yeah, I'm very grateful that I was able to get this car because I was driving a Prius, which I still have, and I still have to make payments on it. Crazy enough, I don't have, I still have a car payment. <laughs> Just not to this car, thank God, because this car would be probably like $600 or something a month. But um, Prius car payment, nothing basically nothing it's four hundred dollars a month um so yeah i'm gonna be using the prius to go to work per usual because this car takes kind of a lot on gas obviously oh you see the bumps it's the shocks i'm gonna go fix that right now so I just hope to God there's not a lot of people there and it's not a long way. Like, please God, please be on my side today, please. I notice when I drive the Prius, people move out of my way. People like go around me. But when I drive this car, people literally almost run into me all the time. And I think it's cause they're like, either like jealous or they're like, fuck you, fuck your car, I don't give a fuck. Or they're like, oh, I want that car to hit me. Y'all tell me why I just got done with the appointment. It is four o'clock. That shit took five hours. Oh my god. Like this is actually kind of crazy. This is actually kind of ridiculous. Like honestly. I'm pretty sure I look ugly because I've been there for fucking five hours. And also I'm irritated. So yeah. But um 
have to go tomorrow to just fix it so whatever but anyway the 24 hours with the newborn continues i should have done an update i was there for five hours i didn't even pick up the camera but anyway my baby was sleeping the entire time like she was sleeping the entire time she woke up a little towards the end because obviously it's a tire shop so they're they have the machines and they're going zzz, zzz, like super loud i'm surprised she wasn't up the entire time but towards the end um i moved to like a little seat by the entrance because it was like a single seat and there there was like men waiting and i just don't want to be around men i don't know i just it's like weird but anyway so i left and i moved by myself in a corner and that was closer to the entrance so it was louder there and that's when she woke up so look, thankfully it was towards the end and they were already finishing my car so um once i sat there i got her out of her car seat because i heard online that you're not supposed to have them in the car seat for more than two hours especially when they're like a new newborn but she's already three months so i think like it's okay now but it can cause like sids it's fucking scary y'all like be careful with that shit um when she was a new newborn like i would always get home like right away like i would never like to well, first of all, we didn't even go anywhere for the first month of her life. Like, I was just home. So, we went to the, her doctor appointment and then home. And that was it. She never left. She never went to her grandma's house. She didn't go to any family's house. But just be careful. I need to get a boba or something. Like, this is crazy. Um, and I hate that I'm getting a boba at Yoshinoya. Like, what? But <laughs> it's the only thing close to me. And I have to. No second, I'll be right Look at the baby, she's sleeping. Y'all have the best baby ever. They were literally like, oh my gosh, she's sleep the whole time. Like she's so chill, she's so cute, she's so like, I'm like, oh. Just like load the car up at the bottom so I don't have to do it when the baby is at the top because it bothers her. I just kind of want to hurry up, get it going. Of course, I have this. Oh, but I only have one cup holder, so I can barely do that. Let's see, did I park really close to this car? Ooh, that's pretty good. Look at that. It's just like things like this that I want to fix, but I guess it's just like aesthetic stuff. It doesn't really matter. <gasps> My poor baby. Look at your baby. We're home. It's all good, baby. I'm about to eat. Cause we home now. That's a good yawn, mama. Okay, let me get inside. Hi, Princess Girl. does the new one scrunch a little bit all right y'all it's time for me to feed her i got a pump and then i'm gonna feed her one is at three and one is at four That's all the girly wanted, huh? <laughs> what you looking at yourself for? Say, Mama, that's all I wanted. The baby's good. She fought her sleep. So. My hair. I just made some chicken and honestly, I'm gonna try to put her to bed. So nothing's going on.